there's a concerted effort to keep people from realizing particular truths, to keep people from unveiling particular information. And it's not just by dismissing and discounting the information. There's a so-called positive movement that is involved in keeping people from expanding their consciousness. And this is why I go into the perspectives of the New Age community and this fake artificial spirituality movement that's out there. It's fast food at best for what other people around the world who have been conquered and genocided and taken out, what we've known as true spirituality. And in relation to the last video, going into dreams and the belief in dreams, this artificial community, this artificial breakdown or understanding of spirituality, to use a word to somewhat tap into where I'm coming from, this artificial version of spirituality is a weapon. And that weapon is used to have a particular effect on not only all people, but specifically certain groups of people. If you need to attack the world of people, you're going to attack the biggest threat. The biggest threat to the individuals or the beings who are threatened by your spirituality are the groups of people who are the most spiritual, are the ones who are tapping into that information and that energy that is beyond the physical. The indigenous nations of the world, the so-called melanated people of the world, have a history of connecting to that spirituality like no other. And the group of people who have a, for lack of a better term, spiritual deficiency, those people are the people that have been used as soldiers to attack those who are the biggest threat to the system of control. And as payment for their weaponization, for being soldiers in that war, they are privileged they get something in return. That return on their investment is this system of racism, white supremacy. Is this what they call white privilege? Is the ability to call themselves an illusion for the benefit over other groups of people? Because we all know there is no whiteness. Just as race was an invention, Whiteness was an invention on top of that original race invention for a purpose. And since this group of privileged individuals have been profiting at the expense of our people for so long, and they're starting to lose grips on that illusion, they will attack you in any way they can. They will attack you by dismissing your perspectives, dismissing your entire history, calling you names, saying that you're doing things that you're not just by simply sharing information. And on top of that, they will create entire artificial spiritual movements to cover up what you've been doing, to dismiss what you've been doing for generations upon generations, and to put themselves in front as the leaders of for lack of a better terminology, this spiritual awakening, or I really don't like using that term, but to get out of the theater of what that term relates to, there is a shift from the physical to the non-physical in the people. And there is an artificial version of what that is. It exists in these new age communities and this Western interpretation of spirituality. And there is a particular group of people who have placed themselves as the leaders of those movements. This is known. And what I'm saying is this is for a purpose. That privilege that they have is used to usher this artificial perspective into reality as a means to cover up and inhibit the depths that we could go as individuals and as a mass of people. So just as there are certain ways to keep you from dreaming, to keep you from going into the depths of dreams and the non-physical reality and the information and the connections that you get from that space, just as there are certain things to keep you from doing that, there's going to be certain things in the waking space that are going to keep you from tapping into those spaces as well. 
one of the biggest ways is to criminalize these mind and spirit expanding tools like psychedelics. And when you criminalize the tools, you criminalize the people. Who are the people known for tapping in to these tools, to these healing modalities? It's the indigenous people. It's the people who have been taken out by this system. It's the one-two punch of knocking you down, dismissing you, criminalizing you, the good cop, bad cop, while simultaneously hitting you with the, we're so sweet, we're so nice, we're so enlightened, we're so awakened. This is what people like Russell Brand represent. He's the left hook. You've been hit by the government. And people like Russell Brand and Joe Rogan, and when they team up with people like Sad Guru, they get people who look like us to co-sign on their credibility. And when you buy into, even the smallest bit, when you buy into these perspectives of reality, like the New Age community, this is what affects that energy of what I was talking about in the last video of the so-called belief. Because if you believe, if you're heavily anchored in an artificial community, an artificial approach to what's being done, you have an artificial belief. And if you have an artificial belief, you're not going to be able to manifest or complete whatever it is that you're trying to complete. So the New Age community is out there to act as this artificial belief system. A perfect example of this is that secret movie that was out there. Now it's put out there in the beginning of all this like spiritual talk on getting close to the mainstream circuits. They started talking about the law of attraction and everybody was about the law of attraction. And what did they do in the law of attraction? They immediately started talking about attracting a Lamborghini or some stupid shit like that. And then Oprah jumped on board and Eckhart Tully jumped on board and all this other stuff. An artificial version, an artificial, a commercialized version of your true capabilities. This is no different than the American dream, selling you the American dream as if it's the peak of this entire reality. And then when you get there, convincing you that you've made it, you've done it, but you're still empty because you bought into an empty system, an empty belief system. And to confirm all of what's going on in these artificial realities, they create these belief systems that are a double edged sword that anchor these beliefs on why these individuals who are part of these communities are right and consciously and subconsciously saying why other people are wrong. And in this example, I just heard something recently where I think it was either somebody on Joe Rogan or some somebody with, uh, I think it was Russell Brand maybe, says something like, peace must begin on your plate first. I'm pretty sure it was Russell Brand. And something as simple as that. So this is this weaponized vegan community just as much as this weaponized new age community. They work hand in hand. Saying something as simple as that, you can believe it. You're like, wow, this feels really good. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Peace begins on your plate first. And that information, is that, that phrase is geared towards a particular group of people. And what is that saying subconsciously? So that, that group of people is this so-called spiritual group of people. Not, not saying that all vegans are spiritual, I'm just saying that people in and around the vegan community are heavily connected to people in and around the New Age communities. And if you're in and around the New Age community, then you're in and around some kind of spiritual perspective on reality. So what other groups of people have this spiritual perspective of reality? Well, it's the indigenous people, our ancestors. And a lot of our ancestors didn't have this belief system of what vegans of today have this relationship with meat and meat eaters. We had a different perspective on reality. But when you say peace begins on your plate first, what you're really saying is that all people who eat meat are not peaceful. And if you have a new age connection to that, then all people who eat meat are not peaceful and all people who eat meat are not spiritual or even capable of spirituality. So the indigenous people of the past our ancestors, those ones who are solely spiritual, for the most part, would get seeded into that mentality, that arrogance in that vegan community is, we're right, 
and they were extra wrong. They weren't peaceful. They weren't spiritual because they still ate meat. And people who are still dealing with that racism who haven't dealt with that yet, a lot of them who are even in these vegan and new age communities still dealing with that racist background. They still got that racist mom and pop and grandpa and grandma. In many ways, they're telling themselves and convincing themselves that the people who got slaughtered deserved what they got. Because the evolution of spirituality is where we're at today. The new age. Spirituality without eating meat. A higher version of connecting with the self. We are evolved. We're more peaceful. They might have had a spiritual interpretation of reality, but they still ate meat. So they weren't peaceful. And they deserve to be genocided and taken out. So that we the New Agers, could usher in this higher version of spirituality. This is that mentality that's out there. Don't let them convince you otherwise. When they're demonizing the storyline, the historical data that adds up to why things are the way they are today with us, they have to demonize it with convincing themselves of those kinds of perspectives. And this might not be existing consciously. This is subconscious, largely, because people aren't going around saying that. But in their actions and in their thoughts, they're thinking that. This is the very basic, generalized, new age thought that in many different ways dismisses ancestral interpretations of spirituality and science. And this fake spirituality, like I said, is weaponized like Democrats versus Republicans. Fake spirituality versus ancestral spirituality. One against the other. And unlike... Democrats versus Republicans, our ancestors are not on the same team as this fake spirituality. The only connection that we have is spirituality in general, but this artificial spirituality is something very different. Democrats are no different than Republicans. Like Malcolm X breaks down, he says, Democrats are like the fox, Republicans are like the wolf. The fox will smile and get up close to you while the wolf just takes you out but they have the same agenda another dichotomy that's out there is this vegans versus meat eaters and when you put up on a pedestal these vegans which is what this new age mainstream community has done you're not only demonizing modern meat eaters you're demonizing the ancestral meat eaters And even when you bring up the relationship, the honoring of the indigenous culture's relationship with the buffalo, they don't give a shit about it. Vegans don't give a shit about that. They're like, what the hell? There's no honor. There's no this. It's just you're eating meat. They just completely dismiss the whole spiritual relationship there. And that's why they have been weaponized. That's why the mainstream has taken on these vegan communities. It's not, that, that's checkers to just think it's meat versus not meat eaters. It's the spiritual versus the non-spiritual, or at least artificial spiritual versus the demonized spiritual. When in reality, that kind of approach to spirituality, that peace it begins on your plate first, that kind of fortune cookie phrase spirituality, that's, it's like play school enlightenment. It's the high school diploma of spirituality. It's an invention. It's based on illusion. It's garbage. Did you put in that time? Did you go did you go to school? Did you do all that work? Yes, you did all of that. But who was in control of that education system? What was that education system really made for? Is it teaching you the 360 degree perspectives of spirituality? No, it's teaching you a very linear perspective of reality on purpose to work against you. And when you finish that system, You're celebrated with your diploma. I graduated the high school of spirituality. You're a new ager now. You want to go into higher education? Become a vegan because peace begins on your plate first. That's when you're going to be super spiritual. So they've taken spirituality and mechanized it, materialized it. They've taken the non-physical interpretation of reality and found a way to materialize it. And the people who are most grounded in the materialized version of reality jumped all over it. Why? 
because they don't have the deepest connections of spirituality, the non-material, the non-physical connections that we have. And like Democrats and Republicans, they have been weaponized against us. And since they control the media, they've put them over everything that we say. So this is why you have a so-called black conscious community and your black conscious teachers, they're not at all connected to anybody in the new age. The, the new age community acts like there is no black conscious community. All the information, all the knowledge, all the wisdom that comes out of the black conscious community. I'm not saying that it is all that is, that's there and all that other stuff. I'm just saying that Yes, it does have its downfalls. All groups and communities have their downfalls, but the information that's there that exists on its own, you can't dismiss all of that shit. You even have truthers dismissing that because they have to put themselves on pedestals. Truther topic individuals, they have to dismiss entire communities to have people jump on their bandwagon and follow only their stream of information. This is what the New Age community is doing. Individual truthers are doing this. You can't dismiss every single piece of information in the con black conscious community, but the new age community does. How can that whole, how could we see that the new age community, as large as it is, as involved in information and so-called truth as it is, how could we not see that they are completely consciously avoiding the so-called black conscious community? Like it doesn't exist. And when they act like it doesn't exist, they're not only dismissing them, but they're saying that something is wrong with them. And this is what sits at the core of people who go in the comment section and see five hours of a compilation video of information and perspectives of teachers over generations of time empowers these people to say, you're ethnocentric. Ooh, look. This person has an ethnocentric version of reality. How sad. It's so sad to see. Look, where the fuck does that arrogance come from? It comes from this new age ego that has been weaponized by the mainstream media and by the new age community over the rest of the spiritual communities of the world. And this is why your spiritual enlightenment awakening all that shit it's, just, it's not gonna go anywhere because your leaders that have been put up there once again like don't even look at it from the new age perspective look at humanity itself who are your leaders of humanity itself in comparison to like the new age community and spirituality the leaders of humanity are so-called white people based upon the industrial age the new world, the superpowers of the world. This is why nothing goes anywhere. It's why nothing happens. So just as they have been placed in front as the leaders of humanity, they're being placed in front of the leaders of the awakening. And the same reason why they were placed in front of humanity in order to go nowhere so there can be a profit made off of going nowhere, the same thing is happening in the new age community so the so-called spiritual awakening or realization of what the hell is going on here. So that perspective of reality goes nowhere. And it's a, like I said, it's a double-edged sword. It's also, it's controlling your movement and demonizing the people who are moving elsewhere, who get their energy elsewhere, who get it from the inside and who get it from their ancestors. We are very internally powerful individuals. And we have the foundation of our ancestors who have already tapped into this spiritual connection of reality. So-called white people don't have that. If you really look at on a spectrum of spirituality in reference to humanity, there's a very obvious relation from the heavily melanated communities of the world and those who are, for lack of a better term, melanin deficient. And relating to that to spirituality. This is why they have been weaponized and turned into soldiers. So you can follow them and they have their deficiencies. They're only able to go so far. And when you're following them, you as a mass of people are only going to be able to go so far. You're only going to be able to go as far as the leaders that have been placed in front of you. 
You're only going to become enlightened, awakened, aware as much as the people have been put in front of you. Just like I said in dreams, you're only going to be able to dream as far as the energy that you put into it. In the foundation, you're only going to be able to manifest as, as deep as your belief and your awareness goes into it. So you have these high school diploma spiritualists out there demonizing our ancestors, calling them primitive savages. And the mainstream adds on top of that by putting television shows out there like Ancient Aliens, saying that, oh, well, the indigenous people of the world were just so primitive, they couldn't have done any of this. They had no connections, like they had no science, they had no ability to do this on their own. It must have been aliens. This is why the New Age community loves ancient aliens so much. This is why aliens are such a big part of the New Age community. Because what the worshipping of the alien agenda is, what it does is that it levels the playing field. Just like the New Age community tries to do. The alien agenda levels the playing field that says, well, we might not have had any kind of spirituality, and you might have generations of spirituality in, in your people, but since aliens are here, they have ultimate knowledge ultimate spirituality and we're just all just dumb little specks of nothing on this pale blue dot we're just all dumb none of our spirituality matters so even though we had no spirituality for the most part even though we were just conquering and colonizing everything we all have our downsides but since aliens are here and they're smarter and more evolved than all of us, then we're all the same, okay? So just stop talking about history, okay, guys? Stop talking about colonialism and racism because we all have our flaws. That's why they have these communities and these belief systems out there. This is why the alien agenda is such a big deal. They're attempting to level the playing field so that you forget and just move on. Same way they do with races. Oh, just move on. Let's just move on. God, you guys are always bringing up old stuff. <laughs> no, this shit is not old. Slavery, Jim Crow, races, all that shit was not a long time ago. In many different ways, it's still very much happening right now. And like I said, the little communities, like the vegan communities, they add to that demonizing making them feel bigger and better than you. And on the entertainment side, in the entertainment communities, in the truther communities, the social media influence, influencer communities, the way to distract you is to have these influencers glorify these artificial systems by theorizing about them, going into the depths of theorizing about the alien agenda, the CERN agenda, the war agenda, all these agendas that are out there, you have these truthers who are out there to suck up the time, to add to the fear campaign. And the New Age version of that is to have New Agers glorifying and theorizing about aliens. So you got truthers theorizing about CERN, and you got New Agers theorizing about aliens. And the coming change, the great awakening, they, they call what it is. The same way... Flat earthers take from indigenous interpretations of flat earth. New agers take from indigenous interpretations of what's to come with prophecy and so on. And in order to simultaneously demonize the indigenous people and the ancestors and make them look small, they take their information, they take their prophecies and then update it, upgrade it. Hey, they were talking about this. And this relates to aliens, or this relates to CERN. So what are they doing? They're putting themselves on a pedestal when they do that and putting you down below because you're the old ways. You're the, you're the old prophesizers. You, your interpretations of reality are outdated. We know what's going on now. This is why you have New Agers always, every single week, every single day, you're going to have somebody else talking about, did you see it? This happened, and this is going to happen. And here it comes. The shift is awake. We're, the awakening is coming. We're almost there. Every year they got some shit. <laughs> they put it on the numbers. Look at Gematria. Look at all this stuff. Any, whatever it is. This is the year it's going to happen. 
2012 kind of sparked out 2012 oh wait you know it's it's 2013 or 2015 no it's 2020 see 2020 is like vision you got 2020 vision now you can see everything and everything is going to come to the surface and we'll be able to see everything in 2020 oh well now it's it's 2022 because there's a bunch of twos in there and it's it's specifically going to be february 22nd of 2022 because that's a whole bunch of twos there's so many twos we don't know what to do we're gonna be so awakened on 2 oh my god <laughs> the little fucking kids constantly selling you oh we're gonna shift from the third d to the fifth d and the, the higher people are in the ninth d i have a ninth dimensional language and we can talk like you don't know what the fuck is going on in any d keeping you going up and down up and down here's a good thing that happened here's a bad thing that happened just like the democrats and republicans here's a shitty president here's a good president or at least we they, they look like in the open they look like good presidents but actually they're doing more harm than any good look at all the fucked up shit clinton did and obama and they were put out there as the good ones against people like bush and trump fuck out of here so in closing like i said in relation to the dreams Anything that keeps you going into the depths of your dreams is a benefit to the system because it's keeping you from going into the depths of yourself. Same with the depths of spirituality. If you have an artificial version, an easy, a microwave version of spirituality out there, why would you want to bake spirituality in the oven for two days if you can pop spirituality in the microwave for two minutes? And the system knows this. The system knows people are in that microwave TV dinner reality. They're like, oh, I wanna eat this shit now. Let's get this spirituality going now. Like microwave popcorn. And then what happens when they get their spiritual TV dinner? They look down on all the, oh, look how, look how fast I became spiritual. Tuh. Look at them and their ancestors. Took them hundreds of years. We did it. Look at our way. We're so spiritual. Oh my God. They weren't even vegan. They ate meat. They must have been doing it wrong. It must have been aliens. People who eat meat can't build pyramids. <laughs> it had to have been aliens. <laughs> so the benefit of having white people imaginary versions of who and what these people are, the, the benefit of having lost people lead truth or in conspiracy communities is the limitations that they have. Because those limitations limits how far they're going to go and how far they can go. The benefit of having so-called white people lead the New Age community is that they're not going to go into the depths of what happened to our ancestors. They're, in fact, they're going to avoid it. So it's, that's twice good. First, they're not going to go that deep. They're not going to get that angry. They're not going to have that much depth into what's going on here. And then they're going to start to glorify themselves on that microwave pedestal. That's extremely beneficial. And also, when you're on that microwave pedestal, you can be commercialized. This is why the mainstream media takes it over. And this is why they have been put out there in the first place. People, microwave spiritualists like Russell Brand and microwave truthers like Joe Rogan are out there. Because they can be bought off and they're only going to go so far. Ask yourself, people who listen to like Russell Brand, why hasn't Russell Brand even acknowledge that there is a black conscious community. All the shit he talks about. <laughs> they act like that stream of information doesn't even exist. Why? That alone is a clue. That's why I started to pull away. That's initially why I started to pull away from the new age community. Because all the regular everyday kind of Russell brands that I was interacting with in cities like Sedona, they literally act like anytime you brought up stuff. And it's even worse when you're interacting with people like that, like real everyday kind of people. It's worse they, because they don't know. They have to maintain their grasp on how spiritual they are. And the way they do that, like a narcissist would, when you bring up stuff that issues and perspectives that you go into from the black conscious community, since they don't know anything about it and since they have a particular feeling about it, they immediately have to project onto you. And the projection, like I said in previous videos, is to call you low energy. So they project onto you that something is wrong with you 
because they have no capacity to empathize or understand where you're coming from. And this is just vomited all over the comment section on, on this channel. And in even more heavy ass communities like the progressive communities, you can see this as a reality. Why are progressives put out there as leaders of information? Progressives are like the acceptable truthers. They're the acceptable conspiracy theorists to the mainstream community. This is why they're out there to artificially evolve the mainstream like Democrats and Republicans version groups of people and, and also validate those groups of people. Say, oh, it's okay to be right here. This is what the Young Turks are. Oh, you don't like the mainstream media anymore? It's okay to be here with us, with the Young Turks in the progressive community. Just don't start getting into the conspiracy groups and the truther communities and, and start talking with flat earthers and all that. that now that's crazy. Now you're, now you're starting to get a little crazy. They're control groups. And you get in the new age community and they say, oh, just don't start going into that black conscious stuff. You're going to get a little crazy. Stay here with us and be highly enlightened. Look, we have brown people too. Look at Sad Guru. He's talking to Joe Rogan. We're not racist. We have plenty of brown people. I have plenty of black friends. Those groups, those ones that are put out there, those artificial communities, the benefit to the system is that those individuals with their lack of empathy, with their lack of depth, the solutions to what's going on are largely based upon putting band-aids on a cancer. They're not interested in holding the system accountable and building our own system. And even if they are, they don't have the capacity to go to the depths of what that really means to do that. This is why they're such a benefit to the system, because the system can just take that group, commercialize it, and repackage it as their own, and then sell it to the people as an evolved version of what's going on. This is what the progressive community, where the hell were the progressives in the 80s and all this other shit? No, the progressives are a really good example of the mainstream repackaging Democrats versus Republicans and selling it to people, just like the New Age community. And the New Age community has been around forever because they, they've been having to separate them, step outside of our indigenous spirituality for so long. People have been needing some kind of connection like that. And that was all they had. And just look at how the, what, what the New Age community is. It's called the New Age community. The, the, there's nothing new about spirituality. Why do you need something new if spirituality has been around and mastered in so many ways for so long? Because there's a new group of people that need to be put out in front of the world. It, new is like smart, smart water, smart phones. This is what new age is. If you could communicate on the phone with just a regular ass landline on the phone, why do you need a smartphone? And look at all the garbage that comes on your smartphone as if you need it. And then they just sell you a new smartphone all the time, just like they're gonna sell you another new age thing all the time. Oh, here it comes, the shift is coming, the awakening is coming, we're shifting now, it's gonna be this year, wait a second, it was supposed to be, this is what happened last year, it's gonna be next year, hold on, we're, gonna, we're almost there. They're gonna keep selling you that almost shit forever. <laughs> oh my God! We're shifting. Here's the iPhone 10, the 11, the 12. This is the shift. Like voters believing the next president will fix everything. They're just talking about this new age shit like it's a new president. Those systems, those microwave commercialized groups of people to have like a loose description of what, what the, what's going on there. They want to talk about like fixing the economy. And, polit and the political atmosphere. We're talking about the criminals behind the Federal Reserve, the theft of land and resources, the attack on particular people. They're not talking about that. This is why they avoid communicating with like the black conscious community and the information that comes from those groups of people. And like I said, this is not to put the black conscious community on a pedestal, because there's going to be some people like, oh, well, you're part of the black conscious community? Oh, my God. No. I'm saying every little community has beneficial information. There's a whole bunch of beneficial information in the truther communities, the new age community, black conscious community, all of them. 
But once you become a follower, a defender of that shit, that's where you get a fucking problem coming about. And that's what happens in these communities on purpose. And the biggest thing, like I said, the biggest thing in closing that happens is that while you're defending your little funky ass community, what your community represents is only a shallow version of what we are capable of really doing here. And like I said, people are talking about the economy and politics, but what about the depths of the Federal Reserve and the theft of land and stuff? You can see the difference in depth there. And as long as you have people buying into these communities, into these belief systems, they're only going to be able to go so far on purpose. And they're going to continue to elevate these leaders, these teachers, these speakers out there to keep you in that perspective this is exactly what russell brand is his topics his daily topics are designed to keep you in that scope of oh i'm aware i'm just as we're highly enlightened this is good that's why he starts off his videos some stupid shit like highly enlightened spiritual magic whatever the hell stupid new age shit he puts out there like you're awakened and other that means other people are not So the other people who are not awakened are the people who talk about other information. So since he doesn't talk about stuff that happens in like the black conscious community, those are not awakened people. If he consciously avoids information and teachers from our ancestral interpretations of reality, then we're not awakened. We're not enlightened. And this is what powers these arrogant ass people out there who just so easily dismissed when we bring up information like the psychological like even the spiritual interpretations of how something as simple as racism affects us today and in our genetics this is what i'm saying like the the conditions of this reality putting racism out there putting a certain group of people over another group of people this is the conditions of the society And those societal conditions affect certain people genetically. This is what epigenetics is. And this is how deep, this is what I'm saying, this is directly related to so-called spiritual awakening and enlightenment and all that other shit that's been commercialized out there. We don't need to glorify it like that. At first, we need to rip these bullshit-ass band-aids because shit is festering under all those new age band-aids and these progressive band-aids. Fuck that. Pull that shit off and start dealing with those festering wounds that are existing in your genetics. And you won't be able to do that until you go into why those genetics were messed with and what continues to add to that genetic fuckery. But if you have these enlightened teachers and all these motherfuckers that are out there saying, just dismissing that that even needs to happen because they have no ability to empathize with that work that needs to be done, You're going to have other people who still have those same wounds going against you. People who have those same wounds that that you have been dealing with, they're going to say it doesn't exist. And that's the intention because the, the system needs broken people to think that they are awakened. Because when the system commercializes that awakening, they can fix artificially what is still broken within you and say that you're enlightened. Now they have co-opted your entire awakening, your entire revolution. And this is why broken people, so-called white people, are put out there as the leaders of the spiritual awakening of the New Age community. Because they are not only broken and privileged in this broken shit system, but they have a very shallow foundation, a very shallow historical foundation of spirituality the depths of our spirituality go far beyond any of this new age shit they're not going to put us out there they're going to put the people that only go so far but to make it look like it's everybody they'll put people like oprah out there oh we have a super soul sunday look at all these celebrities who are awakened and enlightened there's nothing racial about this new age community how dare you No, it's easy to see. We see it. The only people that don't see it are the people who are heavily clouded, invested in those systems. So I would say if you are in groups, in in and around people who are in these communities, these new age communities, 
Try and talk to them about some of the information that I share on my channel. See what they say. See how they respond. It's not going to be a healthy response for the most part. And you have to ask yourself why. 